going on y'all? I'm C Breezy Bearded. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming and checking out this video. If you guys are returning, thank you for coming and hanging out with your boy. I hope that you guys all enjoy this video. I hope you guys get to understand and see how much I really do appreciate y'all. Uh, and I'm going to share a little bit about with you guys today is Crusher's Creations. And I got three different scents for y'all. So we got Fall Fantasy, we got Blue Flame, and we also have After Hours. So, let's break it down, alright? Got my little cheat sheet here real quick because the prices are a little different. For the oils, you can go $16.99. For a beard balm, you can get that for $17. Bucks. For a beard butter, you can get that for $16, alright? The whip butter is $22. And he also has some wax melts for $6, alright? So, the different scent profiles before we talk about the oils, the butters, how they feel, all right? The blue flame scent profile is blueberries, Cuban tobacco, pipe tobacco, amber, and oud. The fall fantasies is warm apple cider, a splash of pear and pumpkin. And after hours is honey, agarwood, tobacco, bourbon, and mystery scents, all right? So let's talk about this stuff, all right? So most of the time with uh, Brian's stuff, the owner over at at crushers it's not usually offered as a combo or anything like that uh, it's always going to be an oil and a butter or oil and a balm uh, every once in a while he'll hook you up and do a, com a combo type deal but the prices still are not bad they're all right there on the market average if not a little bit better uh, especially when he talked about his butters being a utility butter for 16 bucks and it's two and a half ounces all right so let's talk about how fall fantasies smells so fall fantasies was the apple cider uh, pear and pumpkin and it, you really get the pear forward followed by that little bit of pumpkin and apple cider and it makes a really nice fall scent it is a very very nice and it's got this nice little artwork on there that is not a normal artwork for the crushers um, labeling so that was a really nice touch definitely recommend this one especially for this fall time of year i know everybody's looking for fall scents i know you got a bunch of different companies dropping fall scents and all that type of stuff so you might as well jump on this one before it's gone our next one is going to be the blue flame all right now blue flame was the blueberry cuban tobacco pipe tobacco amber and dude this scent is a very nice blueberry scent, all right? If you get that blueberry right up in your face to begin with, and you get that little bit of the oud and amber coming, and you get that little slight hint of tobacco, where this one really shines is once you get it in hand, which all his stuff's gonna be a medium oil while I have it here real quick. All right, it's not real light, not real heavy. That's when that tobacco really starts to shine through. Mixed in with that blueberry and it's just a very nice scent. All right guys, definitely a unique one that uh, Brian is very proud of and definitely a good one. Especially uh, for all you people who love the blueberry tobacco scents, I think this is one that you really would like. All right, so now we're switching it up a little bit with our after hours, all right? We got the circle bottle dropper top instead of the rectangular bottles with the uh, restrictor caps. And after hours was the honey, agarwood, tobacco, bourbon, and some mystery scents. All right. So we got a little bit of everything going on in there. And this one is a wonderful, wonderful scent. Out of the three of these, this one is probably my favorite. Actually, I take that back. Not probably is that. This one has topped my list as my favorite scent from Crushers. It's just so nice and so unique that a garwood and the bourbon hitting up front and you get that little dash of honey behind it. And then the tobacco starts to come in. Oh, it's just so great, guys. Absolutely, absolutely love this scent. So show you guys what the oil color looks like 
Got this nice gold color there. Looks very nice. And this one, there's a man named Wayne, all right? Wayne is obsessed with the old stogie scent from Brian and has loved that for so long. Wayne is one of his ambassadors. Um, he has loved that old stogie scent for so long and after hours has finally topped uh, old stogie. So Wayne finally has a new favorite, which is awesome. You know, that kind of set the tone for how good this scent was gonna be. So I definitely highly recommend it. It's a great scent. All these scent profiles are gonna last you all day. They're not gonna be like over the top strong scents in your face, but the scent is gonna last. You are gonna smell it kind of strong to begin with, and then it's gonna mellow out nicely, and it's just gonna stay there, and you're gonna get some compliments on your beard, all right? So let's talk about the utility butter. Got this blue flame, all right? It smells just like the butter, all right? You got a nice creamy consistency there, all right? See that, guys? This one was, uh, I believe, around the time when Brian switched up his recipe a little bit for his utility butters for what he was doing in the summertime, all right? And then you had Fall Fantasy come out. And this one, unlike, you still get the pear, but you get more of the apple cider up front, in my opinion. Almost like a pear cider, all right? This one is a nice and thick one. It's thicker than the other one. And it is amazing. This was another one, or maybe, I guess it wasn't Blue Flame, I guess it was Final Fa or Fall Fantasy when he made his big butter switcheroo on everybody. But it still melts down, very nice. It goes away. I got something else in the beard today. So we're not gonna throw all this stuff in, all right? And then we got our after hours. Alrighty. And again, smells perfect, just like the oil. Nice consistency, nice and soft butter and you do get a little bit of a hold out of Brian's butters especially if you style it correctly uh, you are gonna get a nice little hold out of his butter which is always nice so let's talk about the ingredients in these products really quickly all right and just in case I didn't show you all the imagery which I think I did excuse me but in case I didn't that fall fantasy sticker is amazing all right so in fall fantasy you have jojoba oil castor oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, and essential slash fragrance oil blend in the oil. All right, for Blue Flame, we have jojoba oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, and hemp seed oil. All right, very nice. And then for after hours, we have, boom, boom, boom. Let's see here, jojoba oil, Castor oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, and then we have uh, what is that? Babosa oil, an essential slash fragrance oil blend. And this one feels really nice in the beard, guys. All right. So now for the fall fantasy butter, we have jojoba oil, grapeseed oil. Sweet almond oil, castor oil, beeswax, shea butter, cocoa and butter, coconut oil, lanolin, hemp seed, and hemp seed oil, all right? And that's 2.5 ounces, guys. This is a really nice, nice uh, 10, all right? And then you, for the blue flame, we have jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, beeswax, shea butter, cocoa and butter, or yeah, uh, coconut oil, lanolin, Hemp seed oil, all right, so another quality blend. And then in after hours, we have jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, beeswax, shea butter, cocoa and butter, coconut oil, lanolin, and hemp seed oil, all right. So very, very nice blends as far as what is inside of Brian's products over at Crushers. I think he's doing a great job. I absolutely love his product. I love the way it feels in the beard. And I love the scent, all right? And I love Brian as a person. He's a great dude. He's been very kind to me since I've been in this community. 
He's been uh, very open and helping well, when it comes to questions that I've had or even figuring out some sense that I want to try out and all that type of stuff. And I've just really enjoyed his friendship. I've enjoyed getting to know him. So guys, if you have not tried Crusher's Creations, I know I've done uh, several uh, other reviews on them. If you haven't checked those out, feel free to gaze through the YouTube channel and check those out as well. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Before you leave, please make sure to go give Brian at Crusher Creations a try. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are not already doing so and you enjoyed the content. Please like the video if you liked it, share it with your friends and family, and guys, hit the comments. And as I say in every video, if you don't want to hit the comments, that's perfectly fine, guys. Still want to hear from you. If you look down in the description, you'll find a link to my website that will have my Instagram page, YouTube channel, Facebook. I'll have some discount codes for you guys for companies that I uh, stand by and trust. There's a couple affiliate codes and several non-affiliate codes. So I hope you guys will find something that you like there. But that Instagram page, guys, is always open to you. I really hope that you guys are uh, willing to come and direct message me. The DMs are always open. I love chatting with you. I love getting to know y'all. I love building relationships. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I consider y'all my friends and my family. And that's something that I really want to keep building with you guys, all right? So those DMs are always open. Even if I don't respond right away, guys, I promise I will respond. And if not, then hey, call me out on it. It could be I got busy when I was looking at your message and then forgot to reply. Something like that. There's no telling. So, guys, I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me and watching this video. You guys have a good one. See you, Breezy Bearded.